Diaton does very, very good drones. And one of my favorite drones is the Roma F5. I haven't done a review about it because I think a lot of people has done it and, and there is a lot of information about it. But I recently got the Roma F6, which is very similar to the F5, a little bit bigger. And then I remember, or I was thinking, what's the real difference between the F5 and the F6? And if I'm asking myself that, I'm pretty sure that you are also wondering the same. And I decided this is a good time to do a review for these two drones and point out the similarities and the differences between these two to see if it's something that maybe you wanna have. So come with me and let's check these two drones out. Do you need a good service to print your circuit boards? I'm sure PCB Way will have the right solution for you at the best price. They don't only have different kinds of PCB like Flex PCB and Advanced PCB, but now you can get your circuit boards with higher TG at the same price. Imagine that. Remember, PCB Way can help you with many other services. Just go and visit their at their website and check all that they can do for you. And don't forget that your first order is for free. Let's start dissecting these drones and see what's similar and what's different. If you look at the shape of the drones, they are, let's say, exactly the same thing, just that the F6, it's a scale up for one more inch. So the shape of the drones and the way that they cover the camera, uh, the arms and even the TPU parts, they are exactly the same just to accommodate the six inches propeller on this one and five inches propeller on the F5. The F5 has five millimeters thickness on the arm while the F6 has 6.3 millimeters on the arms. That's another difference. Both of them are equipped with this system for the camera that allows you to have it a little bit back or to the front, depending on the camera that you, can, that you want to use. If you are analog, you can have different kind of cameras. If you are digital, you can have the DJI camera or you can have the Nebula Pro. And you have different holes and, dif uh, and you have this really nice space for the second screw on the DJI camera that allows you to point the angle and give you a good idea what kind of angle you're using on your camera. This is one of the fewest drones, these two ones, that I know that have this kind of system which helps you understand what angle you have on your camera. Diaton is also providing this plastic that normally everyone else is doing in TPU, they're doing it in some kind of hard plastic, uh, injected molded plastic, and they offer two sets inside the box. The F6 comes in green and gray, and the F5 comes in orange or yellow and gray. Another small difference is the electronics. One thing that I love about Diaton are the electronics. I think they are the ones that I trust the most, to be honest. The F5 comes with an F7 FC with this uh, Bluetooth antenna. So you can connect your SPDB app directly to the drone. The F7 has also an F7 fly controller with the difference that this one is a DJI, which means that it has this little adapter directly on the flight controller that you can easily plug your Vista or air unit directly there without having to solder. In the case of the F5, you need to solder the Vista or the air unit if you're gonna have the digital or if you are in the process of converting your drone. The other difference between these two drones is that even though the F6 is just one inch bigger. They use the same kind of motor, 2306.5, with the difference of the F6 having 1650 kV, while the F5 has 1700 kV. If you look at both of them, they are the same shape, 
just size is different and then of course the f6 because it's bigger you have much more place for your battery your camera um, even if you're thinking about using a lion battery you could fit a much bigger pack on this one than if you will be doing it on the f5 something else that i want to mention about diatoms and the way they build their drones is that both of these drones comes with GPS by default. I think you cannot choose to buy one of these drones without GPS, which is nothing from the other world. But something that I want to mention there is that if you look inside, if you look at the way that the cable of the GPS is, it's actually wrapped in something that is isolating the signal for the GPS which I think is pretty good and it's something good that Diaton is doing because I've read and I've heard so much stories about my GPS is taking 15 minutes to uh, find satellites and this and that and it's oh my god it takes a long time and a lot of the time comes to the point where the signal or that cable for the GPS people is using regular cables they are going through some other electronics like for example the Vista or the, um, uh, the receiver for the radio and then there is interference and it's much more difficult for the GPS to find signal. So I believe that even if it's a very small detail, Diaton is doing something very good there having that isolated cable and running it in a way that it's the less problem when it comes to interference. Uh, in my experience, these drones takes, I would say, less than a minute to find seven to nine satellites, of course, outside, clear skies and very good conditions. But when I go out to fly them, I turn them on, I start turning everything else on, and when I get my goggles on, I have enough satellites to go and fly without any problem. Now let's talk about the part that I'm more interested in and it's the experience that you have while flying these two drones and then the question of course is is this one better than flying this one or what's the difference? Again, let's start assuming or understanding that this one, the F5, flies amazingly. I love this drone and it's one of my favorites to go out and fly. So when I got the F6, remembering that the F6 is supposed to be a freestyle drone, that's why the F on the name, right? It's not supposed to be a long range drone. But when I got it, I said, what? Six inches freestyle? I don't get it. Let's see what it has. And to be completely honest, it's not a bad freestyle drone. It actually feels as good as the F5. I can do everything that I can do to the limits of my skills. And sometimes it even feels like when you're doing tricks and things like that, it, it, I don't know if it's just my mind playing games with me, but I feel a little bit better, like if it's, if it's more agile or something like that. But here is what I'm going to say. The tune out of the box is lacking a little bit. I found out that it has a lot of vibration when you're flying, when you're just letting the drone go forward without doing any tricks or without doing anything else. The drone has vibrations that the F5 out of the box didn't have at all. I've read and I've heard some other YouTubers saying that tuning a uh, 6 inches is much more complicated than tuning an F5 and that could be the reason why out of the box there is a difference in the tuning and you find it, you feel it if you're not doing tricks, if you're just flying smooth, you feel it on the F6. I haven't played with tuning the drone, I'm not an expert doing that so I trust very much on the tuning that comes from factory because I'm thinking they have people dedicated to do those kind of things or they have people that works with that all the time and the, the tuning that comes from factory should be good. I mean, you're paying a lot of money for these drones. So you expect 
to have something tuned out of the factory very well. So I tried to fly a bit of a long distance with the F6 thinking, well, because it's bigger, I can have bigger batteries and go and fly longer. And to be honest, yes, you can do it. Yes, it's gonna fly longer than the F5, but it, it doesn't feel like a long range drone. Like I have some other drones to fly long range and those ones are much better when it comes to smooth flying and just cruising around. This drone, the F6, is a freestyle drone. It's made to do tricks and it pushes and it goes up and it's really good at that. Long distance, nah, not so much. But one big difference between both of them is that the F6 is giving me, I would say between two and a half and three minutes more than the F5. The F5 with a 1300 million per hour battery give me around five minutes. The F6 goes up to eight minutes, which is quite a lot on a freestyle drone if you think about it. So what do I have to say as a summary for this review? If you are in the market for something new, cool, and you are a freestyler, the F6 could be a good option. It's something different, it gives you a lot of flying time, you can do everything that you can do with a five inches. It could be a little bit of a challenge to tune it, but Probably if you're looking for something different, you are also interested on the challenge to modify or improve the tuning that it comes with. But one thing that you have to have in mind is the fact that if you go for a six inches, you're gonna have to invest in different batteries and different propellers and different other things, right? Maybe if you have one or two five inches already, you have a bunch of propellers, you have uh, maybe your spares and those kind of things that feeds a five inches. And it could be that you are more interested in keeping that side of the investment than going to for something completely new. If you are new into the hobby, you just want to fly, you just want to have something that lasts long and you can do everything in the freestyle world, you can go with the F6 very, very much. No problem there you're gonna enjoy it quite a lot because as I'm saying, as a freestyler drone, it's fantastic. For me personally, that I, am, I have invested a lot on five inches and I have a lot of batteries fitting better five inches and propellers and so on, I'm not gonna be that interested on the six inches. It's something that I don't see the benefit for myself or for people that has a similar experience in the hobby that I have. But at the end of the day, these two drones are fantastic. They fly very well. You can do almost everything that you want. They are very resistant and there is nothing not to like about the Diatone Roma family. Give it a try. Let me know your opinion down there in the comments and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for watching.